it's, it's an honor being a candidate for the nomination of, of president of the United States for the Libertarian Party. You know, I've put blood, sweat and tears, time in my life into trying to help build the party. And I've enjoyed every single minute of it. I've had a blast. Uh, I've met some of the best people in the world. And what I just want to say to you is this. What you see is what you get. You know, for those of seen me in person and, and hopefully it transmits in some of these debate, you know, I'm I'm very sincere and down to earth. I don't even like bragging about uh, some of the accomplishments I've had with the LP, but if it inspires somebody to get involved, maybe run for, for office that hadn't run in the past, I, I think that's important. Once again, I want to say that, you know, my inspiration for joining the race was my great, great grandparents, slaves in Georgia. My family's been in Georgia for over 160 years and it's in their honor that I'm out here fighting as hard as I can to bring the message of freedom, not just to one segment of the population, but to everybody. My plan, as I introduced earlier, state by state, it's not top down. It's not what I can do as, as the nominee and, and, and say what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you, Kentucky, what do you need? Ohio, Washington, Arizona, let me know where I can be of best service. How can I help with your ballot access? Because I know from working with an ex-com ex in a state party that those on the local level know what they need versus me trying to tell you what you need. We can win on issues. You need a fighter. I'm a fighter. I've been fighting all my adult life. I've been fighting against government. I've been teaching my kids to fight against government. So you need somebody that's that's not afraid to say what needs to be said. You know, we're not going libertarian light because it might scare some people because freedom is a radical idea, but we need to share it. So that's the type of candidate I am. You need to talk, you, you know, ask yourself, you know, who is the best candidate that you think will get the best result? I call it the X factor. There's a lot of things that cause people to go out and vote that might not have anything to do with the statement they made on issues or, you know, where they're from and what party they uh, belong to. You know, that's some of the success that the other major parties have had. You know, my approach is being strong on message. That's why I say we're bringing all the troops home, all the drones home. We need to be strong on message. We're ending the income tax. Let them fight over. We shouldn't do that. So, if that's the type of candidate that you want, it's an easy choice, I think, you know, and that would be John Mons. I'm looking for your support. You know, if you haven't done your tokens yet for the national debate, I'm asking that you get them in. You know, if this message resounds with you, I mean, that you contact the campaign, mons2020.com is where you can go. And I'm also asking for your vote one Saturday. You know, I'd like to be your first choice. I'd like to send a strong message on the first ballot. If I can't get the 50% plus one, I'd like to be, and if I'm not your first choice, let me be your second. Because I do have broad appeal throughout the party, and I think that will translate to the nation. Now is our time. People like to think about and revise history, that if I was in 1776, Living back then, I would have been right there with Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. You know, if I was living during slavery, I would have been an abolitionist or I would have been a runaway. But we can't look back to those situations and say what we think we would have done. We need to concentrate on what we're doing today right now. We need to be just as forceful because what the government has done with this pandemic, thinking that they control and have nationalized every business in this country and every life as well. Believing that they can control us all is nothing short of tyranny. And we need somebody who's gonna say that. I'd love to see Biden and, and Trump argue against me that we're not living in tyrannical times and they're trying to take us back to a place that we don't wanna go. There's an old freedom song 
from the civil rights movement that even goes back to post uh, civil war. Before I'll, it's, and it's, here's some of the lyrics, before I'll be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave and go home to my Lord and be free. That's the type of attitude we need right now. We need it from everybody across the party. When this nomination is over, be ready to go to work because that's when the real work uh, starts. We have great candidates and we get along well, but I think tonight you may have seen some of the differences and hopefully that'll help you make a decision, a powerful one that sends a message that, man, we're fighting all the way to the end. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much and good night.